hey guys come mr kayo welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be reacting to uh philippines village life cooking me menudo so let's get into it Water comes from the village well. It actually looks small like the village is here as well. You take water from the well, you dig the well, then you take the water out. And those water are actually more clean, to be honest. The village life can be really, really sweet. I mean, it's so calm, so serene, so peaceful. You know, I remember the last time. Remember the last time I went to my village? It was a while back. Idea. It was really interesting. <laughs> oh, I forget. I talked to you. This is how everybody washes. So everybody has a shower. Oh, really? People take their bath with clothes on? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Baby goats. Goodness me. Oh, they, yeah. Those goats have like very different skin <laughs> skin colors. Never seen it like that before. Oh, okay, then you remove that then. Alright. chicken <laughs> not allowed inside lights the new charcoal mm. no. it's got it going that really looks interesting traditional this is uh, menudo Ah, I was, I was about to say, why am I pronouncing it right? Menudo. Yay! <laughs> for the dog. Ingredients of menudo. Is that curry? Uh, carrot. Oh yeah. Pepper. Potato. Pork. Chopped up, everything chopped up small. Heat some oil. Then add garlic and onion. Garlic and onion. Make the garlic golden brown. Add a little bit of pepper. And then start putting the pork Grand, in. Grand this pepper. is uh, pork belly. Oh. Can you use an, another kind of pork other than pork belly? Mm? What kind you want? Any kind of pork you want. And it goes. So you, st I, I guess you still fry everything together. Add half a stock cube. For flavouring, you can add bay leaves. Oh, Two or three or four. Is that rice over there? It's starting to smell good. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. I see you are cooking on a paleoc. Diba? Paleoc. This is paleoc. Paleoc. Yeah. Paleoc. So we've had bay leaves and some soy sauce. The smell is starting to get very nice now. Add some water, about um, half a litre. Yes, half a litre. In your case, you cover it and leave it for a while. Mm. 
starting to look like some sort of soup or something. Okay, add the potato. Got a power cut here at the moment, so uh, just put the potato in. I think it's Irish potato. Mm -hmm. And raisins. Okay, right, uh, so we add um, the carrots. Cook the potatoes now for about 10 minutes. Add carrots. Mm, smells good. It's Add starting to look really delicious and interesting. If you have raisins, you can add raisins. It's really smelling good and it's boiling away happily now. Oh, wow. I think it's nearly cooked. It looks really yeah, good. Um, carrot is nearly cooked. It does have nearly. A little bit longer. Add some tomato paste. We add some salt and pepper and it's nearly done. Last of all, add green pepper. Filipinos like this sweet, so... Sweet to banana sweet. ketchup. Never heard of that if before. You just have ordinary tomato paste, you can add a little sugar. So right at the end, you add this oh, yeah. uh, green pepper. And last You're also going to, go to add rice? A couple of minutes before it's finished. Okay. Oh. This is the first time I'm seeing this. And it's really interesting. It's nearly done. We're all hungry. Right, okay, let's see how it tastes now. Uh, oh, that's really, really, really delicious. Oh, wow. So here it is, the finished menudo. Oh, okay. Uh, serve it with rice. I was thinking they were going to pour the rice inside it. Because I'm like, is that going to be nice? How uh, beautiful it looks. So carefully cut up into cubes. Wow, that looks really nice. I'm so hungry right now. Wow. Let me try a bit. Looks so colorful. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One thing I've noticed about the village life is people in the village are usually very happy, always smiling. You don't see that kind of stress that you see on the people living in the city. You don't see it in their face. Just try, go to the village for, let's say, a week, and then come back and look on people's faces. You will see, like, People in the city are constantly showing stress on their face. But then when you go to the village, you see that it's so peaceful. That constant, what they call it, the rat race is in there. You eat from the nature, you live in the nature, you breathe the nature. It's, there's something about it that you can't just, you can't explain. Which is why I personally love villages. Because you get to get away from all the ozur and bustle of the city life and then you get to relax and stuff. So it's very interesting to see how the village life in the Philippines is. And personally, I think it's almost the same as the or many other villages, actually. The villages here in Nigeria are actually the same. In Ukraine, almost the same. Except maybe the part of um, bathing with clothes on. I, I haven't experienced that before, but it's also interesting to see that they do that. Let me know in the comment section below why they do that. I, I, why do they specifically bathe with the clothes and not without the clothes? Or I really don't understand the concept, but I would like to know why they do that. So make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. And um, thanks guys for watching. It was really educational. It was the food was really really deli I mean it was looking really delicious and so yummy. I wish I could try that. So make sure to leave a comment. Uh, make sure to like, uh, subscribe if this is your first time watching. Or even if you've been watching and you've never subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all later.